Hi everyone, and welcome to the third edition of Mix Fix. Um, and today, well, actually, I don't know what we're going to do today because I chose this song a long, long time ago, and um, I don't have a full idea of what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the folder. It's called Evan Jack, Rust and Bone, Shell Mix. Mix fix. And we have a Cubase session. And we have a bunch of stems processed and processed. This is well organized. Very nice. Very, very nice. P must be printed, I imagine, and a rough mix. Wow, look at this. This is luxurious. And then the Cubase session. So, so let's launch Cubase. I don't use uh, Cubase very often. I use Cubase because uh, I have a couple producers I work with who um, their, their productions are so tied to the DAW that exporting out of Cubase to go elsewhere is, is not um, constructive. So I mix in Cubase. Francois from Elephant um, is one of those people. So the last time I worked was Immense Clean Mix. That was for him, Immense. And this is Indiana Rust and Bone. Here we go. Open the session. Let's see what we're up against. We're up against a whole bunch of missing plugins. So that's not a good look. All the reverbs, altiverb, I don't have altiverb. Virtual mix rack, I don't use that. That must be the Waves version of the API. I don't know what that is. In phase, ooh, that's, that's, that shows promises entertainment. Oh, and missing files, ooh, um, okay. We'll make do. This is real, right? We're keeping this real. All right. Hello, Cubase. So we don't need this. Let's see what we have. Um, by the way, Cubase has a cool, lots of cool things, especially in the meter department. You can have a loudness meter built in right here. That's pretty nice. Uh, and do we have sound? We do. Let's see. It's bitty, bitty quiet. Let's find a mix bus. Let's find stuff. Let's see where we are. I am missing a lot of plugins. I'm missing a lot of plugins. There is nothing on the mix bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the mix bus is five dBs down. Interesting. Sitting on this night bus in the rain A thousand street lights through the window Another town without a name The one thing I keep thinking of is you Your made up fits like Marilyn Most prettiest girl I ever seen You hear me like a cigarette so I suspect that what we're hearing is nothing like the mix. So what I propose we do is we insert mix up on the mix bus and go check it out. Hello mix up. And if I remember well, I made a folder for mix fix last time or the time before. Where are we? Mix fix. There you go. Create a new track. Who remembers um, Harry Jordan, the last mix fix? That was really cool. So let's create a new track here and let's drag and drop the mix that I saw so we can ref. Uh, here we go. Ah. As, you, as you can see, I don't have my automatic move. Let's just go browse. Uh, as you go, boom. Multi-track, import the track. Cool. So that way we'll be able to AB. Going to take a second to upload. And that way I'll have a ref um, to compare against. Because right now what I'm hearing is kind of drab. And I'm mixing all the phase alignment, all the reverbs, and quite a bit of the processing. So let's see what's going on. Let's see, let's look at the stems. 
high processed tracks. Acoustic guitar mid side, mm -hmm. bass, electric guitar one, two, the toms, Hammond, I heard that, regular, very conventional, great uh, drum setup. Ah, Satevo Room, school. Um, shaker, a side stick. This is re in vocal final. This is really, really, really simple. We should be able to get through it really quickly. Um, so now Mixup is calculating um, the LUFS and Trudine of the rough so that we can actually um, know what the levels are and uh, position ourselves against it. It's going to take a second. And then uh, let me look at those other stems. What do I have in the other stems? And process tracks. Acoustic guitar, mid side separate. Bass, electric guitar, SM57. Thanks for the clarification. Hammond, kick, and vocal final two. So I imagine these are the raw tracks, and these are the tracks post processing, which is giving me an idea. Uh, let's see where we are. Let's listen to the actual mix of Indiana Rust. Or Indiana is probably the artist's name, and Rust and Bone is probably the name of the song. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain A thousand street lights through the window Another town without a name The one thing I keep thinking of is you Your made up face like Marilyn Most prettiest girl I ever seen You hear me like a cigarette you wandered in the room I'm with lipstick on the mirror Oh, me, your name It's not the steps you take that lead you away the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To ride with the hind words Words to fit to say Give your heart up to the well-worn page You never had an answer to the road laid out in front of you The smoke across the picture frame The postcard of your naked skin And when I saw you Get the vibe. That's awesome. I love his voice. Great song. Um, love that three four little three four break there. You caught that. Um, and um, okay, listening to it compared to what we have in this uh, situation right here. Your made up fish like Marilyn, most prettiest girl I have. Makes me think that um, I am going to switch doors because I am less comfortable here than in Pro Tools or Luna, for example. 
I'm not really getting anything from this processing because most of it is interconnected and, and we're so far away from the mix that, um, that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this open as a ref, but I am going to uh, launch Luna and I'm gonna import the stems in Luna and see what we could do there. I think that's probably a better way to get to the end mix faster. Not that uh, Cubase doesn't sound good or is not great, it's awesome. Um, a lot of people use it, it's just I'm not as familiar with Cubase and because um, there's so much of this mix is already kind of like destroyed by lack of uh, plugins, then I will switch DOS. And by the way, that happens on a regular basis. I get sent Ableton sessions um, very often and I would say 90% of the time um, I switch to another DAW. And then 5% of the time, the song is so idiosyncratic to, um, to the DAW, it's so, a lot of sands, a, a lot of parallel processing and stuff like that, that, um, that uh, I stay in the DAW. In this case, not really, and so I'm just gonna go somewhere where I'm comfy, um, since, you know, you guys are watching it all. So I'm gonna call that, uh, and I'm gonna create it. And I'm gonna go here, go back to our folder. And I'm gonna start with the process stems, which means that basically I'm starting with his end. Um, and we're gonna see what that does. Here we go, let's see. All right. And we're gonna make sure that we still have sounds because curveball for my crew here. Let's see. Oh. Are we good? Okay, great. Let's keep going. You hit me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm with lipstick. Let me do a little feng shui here. Uh, like all the drums very quickly, side stick, snare bottom. This is mostly drums, really. And by the way, the screen is so huge so that you guys can see on the other side of the live stream, which is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but that's okay. I'll live. Uh, acoustic guitar, so this, yeah, this is fine. Bass, cool. Let's see, there you go. Acoustic guitar. Uh, this, electric guitar, this, uh, Flow Tom, forgot you, come here with your friends here, hi-hat, friends, kick, kicks are great, I love kicks, and there you go, okay, so, and then the Hammond, electric guitar, cool, so now I have a little bit of a visual reference of what's going on, uh, kick in, Kick out, the two overheads can hang next to the bass, snare top, snare bottom. And this, by the way, is 100% habit based. There is no right or wrong. And the two rooms are gonna go on the other side of the overheads because that's what I usually do. And habits are beautiful. So let's see the vocal. This is clearly a vocal centric track. Sitting on this night bus in the rain. Mm. A thousand streets. We should also um, do due diligence and put, I'm gonna fix the slots here, and put a uh, decibel on so that we can look at our stuff. There you go, decibels on. And then also, hi, maybe use my preset. Uh, this one, I like this one. This one's cool. And I'm gonna shoot it to my iPad Pro so you can see it there when Andrew decides to show you what's on the iPad. And then I'm gonna put mix up on so that I can go back to the same spot and A, B. Uh, let's see. Of course, as Pure Mix members, you have access to Decibel and Mix Up, which is pretty awesome. 
so doll. The snipers, the snipers in the rain. Okay, cool. A thousand street lights through. I know I'm gonna need a limiter. Um, these days I use Elevate. I like it very much. And um, I know, well, let's start there. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Sitting on the night bus in the rain. So the f when I heard the rough, the f two things that um, hit me were that the vocal felt kind of thin. Sitting on the night bus in the rain. It feels like very high past. And to me, this kind of music is about connecting, especially he's telling us he's talking to someone. So I'd like to connect to that person. And I didn't connect as much as I should, I feel, in my taste. Sitting on the night bus in the rain. And those S's are pretty rough. And then the, um, the guitar felt weird. That is weird. Something's phasey. Yeah, this is this is weird. So let's um, take advantage of the fact that we are grown people, and that we have a super organized artist who knows their stuff and gave us the raw stems, uh, unprocessed tracks. Remember, we saw them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna quit Snapper. Bye, Snapper. Thanks, Snapper. And drag those next to it. And so it's labeled mid and side. So I'm gonna put them into a bus and call them uh, guitar uh, sub. And uh, mid to the left, side to the right, and use some mid side plugin. I know the only one that I really know is S1. It's a Waves plugin from back in a long, long time ago. Wrong place, there you go. S1. Shuffler. All right, and then, um, so without S1, it sounds like this. Oops, I dropped them in the wrong spot. Let me see. Yes, I did. Move them up. Wow, they're still in the wrong spot. Aha, a super organized artist. Um, did almost perfect. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff and align them by eye. Super scientific. Uh, the downbeat is here. Let's make this one bigger. It's clearly the same thing. You see the same peaks. Oh yeah. Oh, I have the um, grid on. Let me turn it off. I'm going to qualify this as being good enough for folk or country, or whatever this is called. Um, all right, cool. So now I'm going to switch Luna to XOR solo so I can balance between the two of them without having to suffer too much. This is the original. Uh, and this is our um, mid-side, but without the mid-side decoding. And now I'm gonna turn mid-side decoding on. I'm gonna tell him, yo, this is mid-side. I'm gonna actually meter in mid-side too. And so this is how it sounds now. This is just the center. Compared to their stuff. more presence, right? So that's better. And let's listen to the sides. I think it can, we can work with this. It's a little bit asymmetry, which is weird. I have a little bit of presence on the on a guitar, which I really dig. Could use a little transient softening, uh, a little jangly, which is cool. But.
Good start. And then the next thing that kind of bothered me, so I'm going to, I'm going to mute everything else. So I don't have to be in solo all the time. Poof. Paf. Uh, and the electric guitars, everything. Cool. And I'm going to get rid of this. Position ourselves where the vocal is starting. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Thousand street lights through the window, another town without a name. The one thing I keep thinking of is you. You're made up. I'm starting to see um, what um, Indiana, what is it? In, Indiana, 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 uh, what Indiana was fighting against. The that guitar is super jangly and it's cool. It's got a vibe, but it's difficult to place this vocal against it. I'm sitting on this night bus in a thousand street lights through the window, another town. So now the vocal is quite loud, the guitar is still annoying. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. So let's go see what our fearless producer had for unprocessed vocals, vocal final. Hopefully <clears throat> it is a little thicker and then I can do things with it. There you go. So it's probably in the wrong place because I keep forgetting to put my timeline in the wrong spot. No, and also it's not, it's not lined up. Let's do that again. Do, do, do. It is really, really hard to keep your file system really tight. It's not just this song, it's a phenomenal amount of song. Even on really big records, I get sessions where everything is out of sync and we spent a crazy amount of time making sure everything is exactly what was intended by the producer. And very often, they don't answer the phone. And so we make assumptions and we say, yeah, it'll be fine. And then it's not, and then we have to remix because something is not lining up or something, the automation was not what they wanted or things like that. It's called Joy. All right, let's see how this goes. If I want to see if I'm in sync, I'll just play them both at the same time for a second. Uh, I'm sitting on this. Out of phase is great. Uh, so let's see the vocal. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Pardon? I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. <laughs> We're in the business. All right, so I'm going to gently retire the uh, process vocal and thanks for coming it was great spending time with you let's move on to this one i'm sitting on this night bus in the rain a thousand street lights through the window another town without a name the one thing i keep thinking of is you your made up fish like Marilyn, most prettiest girl I ever seen. Cool line. Um, so obviously what we're hearing is like, um, this is a high proximity effect vocal and, and it's generating some issues. Um, there's a little bit of wooliness and stuff like that. Overall, I dig it. Um, I'm gonna copy those to 800. I think it's gonna help a little bit. Clearly we need a, a DSR. Uh, so we're gonna DS first. I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on this, I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Starting to lisp a little. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Without. I'm sitting on, With. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Pro DS for president. Um, then, um, what am I hearing? It's, it's well recorded, it's just a little too close. Not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between them. Yeah, that's a little hard, right? So we're gonna do a classic thing and give it a little bit of a shine, like this. Not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between With a faster attack, I can catch those things. Not the steps you take that lead you away. 
It's the distance that's between them We crossed that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your head Silhouetted by the morning light Not the steps you take that lead you away Cool, so we started here Not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them we cross that river for and now we're here not the steps you take that lead you away cool it's the distance that's between them we cross that river for the shore i'm thinking that it would be useful to have a little pull tech action here not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you I'm hearing this like, kind of like aggressive Not the step This stuff, uh, where is it? Here Not the steps you take that lead you away I'm gonna show it to you Not the steps you take that lead you away That, I don't like that it's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you mm -hmm. That's nice As you're laying down upon your sides right, We won't know more until we start building more stuff But I, that's a good base Not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you so This is our record, right? The rest is all decoration. So I feel confident that I can um, insert a little bit of gain staging here. And I'm going to uh, use the uh, 2500 that's in the console that's built in because um, when I mix analog, I use a 2500. I fell in love again with it recently and so I've been using it quite a bit uh, Not this. what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give myself some um, gain stage so um, meaning that well let's call it what it is headroom so I'm going to switch to old that's my basic setting for this compressor and then I'm going to raise the output level so that now I hear the stuff loud hold on to your socks not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them Then I can lower my monitor here because I'm blasting myself to smithereens Not the steps you take that lead you away So, let's talk about this, this is crucial I lowered my monitor to the same level that it was before So, I'm, I just jacked the level up 4.5 dBs-ish uh, I lowered my monitor 4.5 dBs, I'm listening at the same level But now I have gain uh, on my mix bus, which means I don't have to push as hard to get to the levels I want to get at. And how did I pick 4.5 dBs? I'm looking at my um, decibel output here. Not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between them. It's hovering at, you know, minus 14-ish. Uh, maybe a little under, but clearly I'm going to add some stuff. Um, so it's probably be safer to go to 3 here and now i'm basically in the ballpark you'll notice that it's not compressing not the steps you take that lead you away i know from experience that if i go down to plus four or zero i'm going to get a little bit of a tap not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them we cross that river for the shore and the one thing I keep thinking of is you I'm gonna try and unwiden this guitar a little bit Not the steps you take that lead you away It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you as you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To write with the hand words Words to fit to say This feels good. Alright, um, I'm thinking maybe 
basically what I'm hearing uh, like this is I'm hearing a very intimate thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep this vibe and wrap stuff around it. And I'm thinking that I want to start and create a space for it. And let me see if, um, if a chamber would do. I have a feeling it may not be right, but I'm curious. It's interesting to me. Uh, let's see, let's call it chamber. And let's add the chamber. The chamber. It works better if you know how to spell chamber. Um, yep, there you go. That's, that was Al's favorite. Not the steps you take that lead you away It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you We know that sound, right? That's a classic sound. Not the steps you take that lead you away Still calculating, one second, here we go. Not the steps you take that lead you away it's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore My aim is to get rid of that room sound, check it out Not the steps you take that lead you away that, You know, kind of not slap back, but that kind of like ambience of a short room I want it to be kind of like uh, ethereal So just a little bit of the chamber does that without Not the steps you take that lead you away Good. Not the steps you take that lead you away Simple but efficient. Let's see if it works on a guitar. Not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between them. We cross that river for the shore. And the one thing I keep thinking of is you. Cool. We may have more sauce later, but this is cool. I like this. Um, now, uh, just for, you know, to make sure we're not completely betraying the vision. Let's just check with the, the mix. Not the steps you do away. It's the distance that's between them. sets between them. We cross that river for the shore. And the one th I stand by my vision. I think this is gonna be good. Uh, so I just spotted the bass. Let's listen to the bass. Distance sets between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the moon That's a cool recording. It doesn't have a lot of vibe, but it's a cool recording. Like, it's fine. It sounds good. What can we do to make it sound a little more... to have more personality, maybe? Or take more space so that it's not all, you know, guitar a -thon. Um, Usually I try to put an amp on, even if this sounds like it was through an amp, but why not? Not the steps you take. I'll do it in solo so you hear what's going on. Not the steps you take that lead. That's fun. I like that a lot. And then, you know, the whole thing about the medicine. Uh, so sugar. I'm also gonna high pass the very bottom because we don't really need it. It's the distance that's between them. We cross that river for the shore. And the one thing I keep thinking of is you. And often, um, basses benefit from having the tape on them. Especially that part. The bottom part there. Do, 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 do. Not looking at the bass. Where is it? Here. 
this without. See how uh, flappy and thing it goes without the tape. More focus so in the track. The distance sets between them. We cross that river for the shore. And the one thing I keep. This makes me want to try to tape on the guitar. Uh, that's, it's a sub, so it's available as the 102, which is great too. Let's see what it says. That stuff in transits a little bit, right? Without? For the show, and the one thing I keep thinking of is you. As you're laying down upon your side, silhouetted by the morning light, to write with the hand words, words to fit to say. I may have just hit the low fi thing. Distance sets between them we cross that river. Don't hit the low fi thing on the high fi record. The distance sets between them we cross that river for the shore. And the one thing I keep thinking of is you. So the uh, guitar no longer overwhelms the vocal, everything is happy. I don't think I need to compress this bass at this point. We'll see what happens with drums out there, but. Compress the space, it would be solely for tone. Check it out. Use this guy. Again, listen to the bottom. It's getting tighter and tighter, right? So, this is where the bass was before I started torturing it. Perfectly fine sound in the sauce, it sounds like this. The distance sets between them, we cross that river for the shore. And but you know, if you add a little bit of saturation, and the distance sets between them, we cross that river for the shore. And the one thing I keep thinking of is you. I like it better, it's my taste. We'll see if the artist likes it. Um, okay, then let's let's take a look at the drums. Uh, we have, all right, this all makes a lot of sense. Let's do a quick run through. Uh, I have here, I've set up my uh, S1s to talk to Luna. So I'm able to use faders, which is awesome. Here we go. Kick out. Oh, sorry. Um, we cross that. Gated, but those are the printed tracks. So if I don't like it, I can go get the non-printed tracks. That hat hat was overdubbed. Fair. Uh, there's a rack tom, which apparently was overdubbed too, or extremely gated. Ooh. Option B, extremely gated. And then apparently it's not gated at the end. Let's see. Still gated. I'm going to switch my um, uh, solo to latch. If this was recorded drummer perspective or audience perspective, let's check out the overhead. It says left overhead, and this is the right overhead. Okay, this is the right overhead. 
So, uh -huh. okay, so yeah, it was done um, audience perspective. So I'm gonna make a group of that. Overheads, cool. And so you know that the float time is to the left and the rack time is a little bit to the right. Cool. Um, so let's listen to those drums in the overheads and also the rooms. Let's listen to the rooms. So there's some interesting stuff in the, those rooms where they're completely off balance. So essentially, that's a mono room. Otherwise, the phase is going to be all wacky. May become useful, time will tell. Uh, let's see. So let's add. So I'm going to get the side stick and the shaker out of there because they're apparently, yeah, they're overdubs. So change the color so I know that they are not part of the family. Come out. Um, and let's listen to this with. So because of the style of music and because we're not trying to have a bass drum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sum all those drums, call them something intelligent like drums, and um, have that be my uh, thing. I, these days, because I come from Pro Tools and um, I use Pro Tools for certain records, and when you make a folder, it puts the folder to the left. Now I put my axis to the left. I have it. All right, so now let's put some gain on this so we can see, because if I, if I were to remove the solos now, and... You always... We have a gain problem with the, with the drums. So my options here are either um, raise the drums or lower everything else. We can do a quick survey of what's going on. You It's not, there's not that much, and Luna lets you do it like this. You As the lie begets the truth within the majesty of you. Now the drums are sticking out a little bit. The reason for that is because um, they are all wild and, and not contained. So one thing we could do is we could put the master tape on it, that always helps, and also I tend to like the neve summing on the drums. Uh, let me go. They also sound like a five-year-old mix them, so let me adjust that. I'm not sure of the validity of this inside kick. Uh, let's see how we do without. And solo all the drums. So the kick in, kick out out of phase, we could fix that or we could just ignore the kick in. And then the beginning of the song where the snare is the star.
I'm using the rooms for now, because I think that we could do without, probably. So because the vocal is going to be here, it'd be really cool if we could manage somehow to make sure that the bass drum goes under and forward and provides kind of a pillow under it with the bass and then have the snare feel kind of slightly behind the vocalist, just like if you were in a club kind of vibe. Um, that's the mission, let's see if we can achieve it. Um, this bass drum... Why not? Let's try something. Um, Let's try um, this classic thing. There's still a little bit of a, something that needs some precision, like this little, that wing thing that's really annoying. Probably 90. Still there. Let's see in context. That's already way better. Let's see if the two hundred is in the way. Clearly this could use a little bit of containment because it's not super even, which is good. It's a live musician. Okay, this is kind of cool. Um, see those overheads. Maybe be to, sorry, I may be able to optimize this relationship. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. That's a little thicker, right? So I would just uh, adjust the phase of the bass drum so that it speaks to the overheads better. Of course, you got to be very careful that it doesn't ruin the relationship with the snare drum. The snare drum will have us know that it's fine. All right, cool. I'm going to use this again here. I think the compressor could be a little faster here on the bass drum. So let's see if the, the rooms have a, a value. Maybe later, when we grow up, if we grow up. Um, let's see. Um, what if we had a little bit of that chamber on the snare? How would that sound? So. Here, I'm going to mute the rest. 
here. Uh, we're not going to use the guitar anymore and get rid of it. High track. And it sounds like this. That's cool. Let's um let's put a little bit of containment on the mix of the whole drums. Well, this plugin has gain by default. Okay, let's see how this balance translates when the hat comes in. I remember that the hat was way to the left on the on the rough, but I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that that's the vibe. More the vibe. Let's see what the tom does here. Oh, come on, don't be shy. All right, so that I can hear that tom coming in and out, hopefully with the sauce, the uh, gating. Hopefully with the sauce, we won't have that. It's a little thin even for a rack tom. So I'm gonna give it some love. Boop. All right, all right. And then what else is going on? We have, then it goes into the toms. Cool. Um, all right, and then we have a shaker and a side stick. Let's look. Mm. That is going to be a problem. Uh, so let's just niche it. This guy, I want to push back, right? Let's try the chamber, see if it works. So it doesn't sound right, it still sounds like it's in my face, just sent it to a reverb. Let's try the, uh, the Ocean Way thing. What? Listen to me. Ocean Way. Studios, that tends to work for putting things in places. That's back. What's the side stick for? I'm sure there's a reason for this. Ah. You still want it to have the, side, the uh, back beat, even though we have this thumb feel. I understand. a little too real for Friday night, so let's um, put a little saturation on it. 
Uh, that's right, you can't do that. You can do this instead. Let's see how this gels with the bass. Too fat. So in the context of the track, the, uh, the drums feel dull a little bit, so let's... Let's do a quick trip down memory lane. Oh, yeah. Lower the, the rough a little bit so we don't get blasted. Oh, yeah. As the lie begets the truth and the majesty of the Obviously it's dry, but I'm connecting with the singer better. And that to me is, I think is important for this track. So let's compare the verse a little bit. Girl, I ever send you hand me like a cigarette as you want. I'm with lipstick on the all right, so let's keep adding the instruments so we understand them and then we will um, uh, create space. Uh, first, I think the most important would be, oh, look, there's a tambourine that escaped the rest right here. Hi. And he's here. Ooh. Tambourine. Meet Chamber, you guys are gonna get along. Oh yeah. Match made in heaven. Maybe I wanna push it back to same trick. A little bit of gain. Maybe if we Oh yeah. Vibe E. The lie begets the truth within the majesty of Okay. So this is um with unequivocally claiming the right side of the spectrum, which is cool. I like the decision. Uh, how are we gonna rebalance this though? It comes in, once it comes in, it's pretty much there. What's happening here? Okay, cool. Let's try a friend here. Let's see on the loud parts. Of 
course. Hello. It's not the steps you take that maybe not as far, right? It's not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep Let's see the big entrance here You're made up this like Marilyn Most prettiest girl I ever seen You hand me like a cigarette As you wandered in the room You could use a little setting. Most organs just flop all over uh, because of the pedal thing. Um, and so... I'm gonna attempt to get a bass label without being to swash by the LA2, and then when it gets loud, I want it to stay where it's at. It's not the steps you take that lead you away. It's the distance that's between them. We cross that river for the shore. As you're laying down upon your side, silhouetted by the morning light, to write with the hand words, words to fit to say. These transits are gonna bother me forever, but I'll, f I'll figure something out. All right, I have. No idea how you guys are feeling, but I'm having fun. We have an electric guitar right here. I'm with lipstick on the mirror. Oh. It's lacking a little bit of vibe. Uh, let's do this guy. Maybe not that much vibe. Uh, let's see, what did I do wrong? That's a tough one um, because it, the time is good, everything is good. It's the, the, the tone doesn't really have super personality and it's a little woolly here. Um, maybe go crazy. Not that crazy. That's usually too thin for me, but it may work here. Still too thin. Come on. Switch. Yeah. I like this reverb. It's a good spring. The one coming right up from our French people at Alteria. 
playing it, playing it. What does the other guitar do? Same vibe. Not same vibe in the part, but same vibe in the tone. One more time. to tighten this a little so I'm going to lower the threshold on my mix bus compressor this definitely needs um, the same kind of softening everything is very clean and very direct and that's not the vibe I think Cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm with lipstick on the mirror, oh me, oh nay. It's not the steps you take that lead. It's the distance that's between them We crossed that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To ride with the handwoods Clearly I'm gonna have to automate a Hammond And then this guitar So I can do, let's see, usually get some good inspiration from this guy. So the best it can do, because this is 100% accurate, is 8th note or not? No, because of the tempo. Let's do 16th note, it's fine. 8th note triplet, cute. And more intensity. try something because I, I need more of the bottom right and um, and I can't get it because it comes all, with all those transients so even time sent me this thing a while back called split split EQ let's give it a little plug an icon clearly I haven't used it in, in Luna yet because it doesn't have an icon and so what this lets you do is it lets you um, EQ the transients or the body of the sound separately which is pretty cool so if I solo the guitar. Mm -hmm. 
that does the trick. And then we could uh, see here. Grab the wrong one. This is the one I wanted. There you go. So for you to hear, you can actually solo uh, what it's doing. So this is just the transit. Without. smoother let's see how it works I suspect that when the MS was taken, there may have been a phase issue at the moment of the take, and that's why we're struggling so much. One solution to uh, solve that would be to go no MS, all mono. It's just boring. Let's get some with. with the mix. I like, I like where we are for my taste better now. Um, let's see if uh, we can benefit from the API. So this, I've been mixing all this with um, regular DAW style straight to the 2500, but Luna, we have these um, summing things. So uh, when I'm in Luna, I always try them. So this is raw. If you're not, if you're having a hard time figuring out what's going on, check it out. Um, this is without, listen to the bass drum and the bass. Actually, I think the bass is a little shy. Here we go. Listen to the bass drum and the bass. And it tightens things a little bit, and you can play with the headroom. You can, um, you know, starve it or push push the headroom. Let's see. It gets muddy, and then. Too much for my taste. I like the middle setting. As the uh, Laosu said, the middle way is the way. I'm with lipstick on the... 
Maybe it was Lao Tzu, maybe it was my mother. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me. I'm with lipstick on the mirror of me your name. At this point, let's listen to the song. How's everybody doing? Everybody still with us? All right. Cool, thanks for staying with us. This is the part where I drink uh, water from my soda stream. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain Thousand street lights through the window, another town without a name. The one thing I keep thinking of is you. Your made up fish like Marilyn, most prettiest girl I ever seen. You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. Sunsets between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To write with the hand words Words to fit to say doesn't work. What did I do here? I see. That's more like a difference of vibe. So we're going to move that one segment to another track and uh, chill on the processing. Oh, I just duplicated. Sorry, if I went too fast, I duplicated the track and I'm moving it. It's more the vibe, I think. So this guitar, the guitar, electric guitar number one, is the lift, really. The smoke across the picture frame, the postcard of your naked skin, and when I saw.
that super cool part there is clearly the focus on the end so um, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea to how's my gain stage here yeah to just raise it so uh, let's see La solo the drums you can see that may need to compress this a little more uh, we'll see and Okay, so this works, but it's having a really hard time fighting against the, the guitars. So I'm thinking that it may be uh, in good taste to uh, create a little bit of parallel compression. So I'm going to send two, I want to call it drum push, say. And uh, we're going to make sure that it goes to the next bus, which it does. And I'm just going to equal opportunity, everybody. Let's start with, say, a fatso to see how that feels. space around the drums will be in really good shape uh, so let's uh, create one and it's called uh, drum space and so this is a, li a little unusual because usually you can get this out of the uh, overheads more or out of the rooms more but in this case I don't think it's constructive unless something's changed in this balance drum push so that I can use the fader in this sweet spot because right now it's a pain in the butt. So 
that would be a good draw space here. Let's try the ocean way again, because this is not a conventional, I don't want like stuff, you know. Um, I want some ambience, let's see. No, that's not what I want. too much. Let's see if this in good taste or not. You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the Back wall. You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. With you hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I think it sounds natural. I think it sounds cool. Um, let's listen to it all soloed so you can hear the vibe. Giving me an evil idea. Hold on one second. that so should we uh, be thorough and we call it space since it's not just the drums in it yeah you hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room and then I copied it directly to the uh, shaker and side stick and stuff have a presence on the snare, presence problem on the snare here. I wish that's, that hit were as loud as these hits. Not sure what happened at the end here. Ugh, 
it's ruining my editing. Okay, let's see. Uh, you know what? No one's watching, right? Pay no attention to the clip gain behind the mirror. Either in the original mix there was a reason for this to happen, or a microphone moved. But something's off, and we're going to fix it. This three should be happy to be there. Almost there. Often artists say, hey, can I, can I come to the mix? Um, and I'm like, yeah, sure, but I gotta warn you, it's, it's a little bit like watching paint dry, but louder and with less paint. And often they don't come. Um, but you guys signed up for this, right? Here we go, let's see if this fixes it. Highly unscientific leveling of snare. Section. One small step towards world peace. All right, so now this sounds like music, and um, I, I have to create some sort of a ambience around the drums. I think I'm cool with the drums, and I think the bass can stay where it's sad, but I got to find a spot for. Um, for that vocal. This is the drums. I, I doubled the studio to see if I can soften those transients again. We gotta be careful at the intro, it sounded bad on the intro. Maybe it was just quiet, let's see. Let's do that and then let's write the Hammond. Um, let's see. As a reminder, this is what the vocal sounds like now. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. A thousand street lights through the window, another town without a name. The one thing I keep thinking of is you. Definitely don't want to put it in the space. Uh, let's move to space with its little brother, the chamber. There you go. Um, let's try um, something atypical, something that that's not supposed to be there. Like, uh, what happens if we put an echoplex on his voice? I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain A thousand street lights through the window Another town without a name the one thing I keep thinking of is you Your made up fist like Marilyn Most prettiest girl I ever seen 
You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. Got a really good vibe, and it can actually stand a normal compression. Let's see how it feels when it comes in. There's always this weird thing where everything feels good and then you listen to it from the top, you're like, bleh, bad idea. So I'm gonna ride this guitar up just for that in solo intro. I'm gonna very elegantly and discreetly ride it back down when the vocal comes in. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain A thousand street lights through the window Another town without a name The one thing I keep thinking of is you Your made up fits like Marilyn Most prettiest girl I ever seen You hear me like a cigarette It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silly. Heard that? There's another line that doesn't deserve that treatment on that guitar And it's this line Of is you It's a little too... A little too Carl Perkins As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To write with the hand words Anyway, what I was doing is I was trying to keep the snare as natural as possible To have that earthy vibe But um, there's too much of an amplitude In between the quiet and the soft um, the, Sorry, the soft and the loud parts on this, uh, on this playing And thus, that's why Jesus invented compressors So here we go It's not the steps you take that lead you away It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light To ride with the hand words Words to feel See, this is starting to feel good. Um, I always look at the wrong camera. This is starting to feel good. Um, let me um, get rid of most of the organs issues, level issues. Let's see. So I put the uh, I put it in touch, and I have the S1 right here, and I'm going to be able to write it on my fingers. It's like Marilyn, most prettiest girl I ever seen. You hear me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm with lipstick on the mirror, oh, me your name. It's not. 
the steps you take that lead you away It's the distance that's between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you As you're laying down upon your side Silhouetted by the morning light an opportunity right here. You never had an answer to the nope. You never had an answer to the road laid out in front of you. The smoke across the picture frame. The postcard of your naked skin. And when I saw As we say in France. For you dance at night. My hands were filled with fire. And I'm not. Ooh la la. Fire. Even though you don't see, as you find what you love, let it wash you away. You All right. Um, while we were doing this, I heard that this guy. Let's um, let's scrutinize this for a tiny second. See how this sounds here. other side so that it share with the organ. This guy right here. Context, context, context. Uh, Here. 
All right, cool. Um, very nice. Are there any questions? People think it sounds good. Thank you, people. Yeah, I know. That has been the problem. We have three tape machines in a row on it. So, of course, we could do the unthinkable. But let's think about the unthinkable. We could just um, stop all the shenanigans. Uh, remove this dude and go here. And why the pull tech? It's because to me it's the gentlest sounding one. I, I don't know, man. Prettiest girl I ever seen. You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm gonna do a pass on headphones because there's something at the bottom that's bothering me, and there's a whole bunch of lights and cameras in front of my speakers. I'm gonna sort that out really quick on my fearsome. Um, Medze Elites. And let's see. Most prettiest girl I ever seen. You hand me like a cigarette. So the bottom of the space, it happens sometimes with this plugin that um, you have to be super careful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna nuke it. Uh, I'm gonna nuke it with, because I like what it does to the vibe, but I don't like what it does to, that's what happened. It ruined the bottom of my bass drum. So I'm gonna, by precaution, linear phase it, although I'm sure there's all sorts of phase stuff going on, but. Um, Everybody else, so we can hear this trio duet. The problem was not from here, the problem was from the reverb. Solution just to, sorry, the solution is to put um, sometimes words come in my head in French for some reason. So the solution is to not put the space on the drum sub mix as I thought would work, but it doesn't. And to just put it on the individual tracks that I want to excite that room.
And we get our bass drum back, and then let's see how it goes with the bass. A little further, when you get more excited. That guitar is the um, the um, the bass for the record, the, uh, the, the bass line for the record. As good as I can get that guitar, that's as good as this record's gonna get. Uh, see those guitars? That was a little thick, this thing. So I copied the Pro Q3 and got rid of that oomph. Somehow, I, uh, in the process, because I go so fast with key commands and I'm in between so many DAWs, sometimes I do a key command that will reset some of my, um, some of my settings. So my API got reset. Maybe if we watch the video again, we'll know the replay. Oh, this is when the settings went away. Let's just... Sunsets between them We cross that river for the shore And the one thing I can think I'm wondering if the 160 would be a better look for the compression here. Yeah, I kind of dig it. It's leaner. I'm with lipstick on the mirror of me on me. It's not. Distance sets between them. We cross that river for the shore. One more little joy. Um, it's not already created because this is not my template. Um, so let's create a new and call it 140 and move it to where all the core reverbs hang out. 140. I can count that high and go here. See how this feels. I'm with lipstick on the mirror of me. I'm gonna play it in, sorry, I'm gonna play it in solo so you can hear. I'm with lipstick on the mirror. Without. 
I'm with lipstick on the mirror of me your name. That's cute. And then at the top, how does it feel? I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. I don't like it there um, because I want to keep the intimacy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate that. Uh, insert three, send three. So this whole thing until the drum comes down. Let's just be. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. A thousand street lights through the window, another town. Cool. Will I ever send you hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room? close and I know you feel this even though you don't say as you find what you love let it wash you See how this feels. It's somewhere in the middle. You As the lie begets the truth within the majesty of youth, walk the blessed travel roads between the Just like so in the music, I added uh, the 140 on the side stick to give it a little bit of a tail. As the lie begets the truth within the majesty of youth, walk the blessed. Okay, so I think the bottom is right now, and in down upon your side, silhouetted by the morning light. In down upon I think I inadvertently automated the mute for the organ. Let's change that. Yes, I sure did. And fist like Marilyn, most prettiest girl I ever seen. You hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm with lipstick on the mirror of me your name. It's not the steps you take that lead you away It's the distance that's between them across for the shore And the one thing I keep thinking of is you It's 
as you're laying, as you're laying down upon your side, silhouetted by the morning. So I'm, I'm genuinely happy with where it's at. Let's see if the ending is uh, true to the spirit. last thing we could do is, I mean, there's a million things we could do, but I feel content that this is um, a good presentation of the song and it um, alleviates some of the problems that I heard with the original mix, which was in itself quite good. Um, but to me, the problem was that I did not connect with the vocal. When I played it, I was like, what is he singing about? So I wanted to connect with the vocal. That's why I put the vocal red sat super loud and in your face for most of the song. Um, I just added a, um, ATR on the tape bus, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. A thousand street lights through the window. And Without. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. A thousand street lights through the window. I'm sitting on this night bus in the rain. Thousand street lights. It has a nice little shine on top. Let's see if it um, lets the track breathe. All I ever seen, you hand me like a cigarette as you wandered in the room. I'm with lipstick. Same section. Alright, those who like it, those who hate it. Those who don't have an opinion, I like it. I'm keeping it. Um, all right, so done with headphones. I think this is pretty cool. Um, um, yeah, so at this point, because I'm in Luna, what I would do is I would uh, export and upload it to MixUp and um, send it to um, my artist. Um, and see what they say. So at this point, because I've been talking to a black hole for two hours, I'm completely disconnected from the world, but I have uh, antennas. My friends, what are we doing? Oh, we have the art. We, it looks like we may again have the artist ready to come on Zoom. Uh, do we? I'm going to open up the Zoom link. Um, suspense. Is he going to dig it? Is he not going to dig it? We don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Open Zoom. And this is the part where the Zoom output is not in the right place. And you say, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? You know, the usual stuff. I am not Mark Abrams, but I am connected. One participant, me, and give him a minute. All right. So 
I should start the video so that you guys can see what's going on. That's what's going on. That's Andrew right here. Wave. That was Andrew. And behind, you can see the top of Tom. There you go. And Scott Cousin is here. Let's see if this is going to work. My Scott, you have a nice beard. Um, I'm going to put it. So should I, I'll put it to, um, to Apollo. One second, Scott. We're dealing with highly complicated, um, you know, technical stuff. Let's see. My speaker's not working. I'm not special. Uh, and Zoom just crashed. Cool. One second. Sorry, Scott. We didn't rehearse this, people. Uh, we didn't know Scott was around. Scott seems happy, so that's a good look. I, I like that. That makes me happy. Uh, so Zoom crashed. So Scott, I'm very sorry. I'm going to have to do this again. Um, I'm a trained professional, people. Don't try, don't try this at home. Be right back. All right, so I'm gonna, this time I'm going to start Zoom directly. So it's there. I love that Zoom says success. I don't think so. Uh, start connecting, and I'm going to do the audio. He's still there. That's awesome. Fail to detect your speaker. Test microphone and speaker. So speaker. Check. Yeah, that's the input level. It seems to be happy. And reclaim. I'm going to reclaim the host because I am the host. And Scott is here. Remember that part about watching paint dry? Click to join audio. OK. Oh my goodness, I hate this crap. My fault again. Um, I will do that again and put it onto this. Yeah, this is the look of the last two years. Um, I'm going to do that again. Sorry, Scott. I'm really, really sorry. Um, Tom, in your great wisdom, do you have a suggestion? Yeah. It is. What if we just output it to the to the computer speakers? All right. Can't have it all. It's broken. Zoom's broken. Okay, you know what? This is why we have phones. This is how we used to communicate through phones. Um, And I know how to do this. Very sorry, everyone. Next time, I promise we will rehearse the, that part. Uh, drive, desktop, open. OK, this blows. <laughs> Excuse me while I remodel. How can I force Zoom to stop being Zoom? Um, No, not gonna work. One more, one more attempt, and then we'll have to. I'll talk to um, Scott offline. That is the magic. That is the magic. All right, so I'll have to talk to Scott offline, and um, because we just got betrayed by our um, computer, so this really, really blows. Oh, yeah. Scott, please email Tom your phone number. I'm going to call you on this reliable device. That will do. All right. 
and the phone number is coming. Meanwhile, while we wait for that to happen, this is um, annoying. Um, I am going to do a little recap. I think this was, first, it's a great song. He sounds amazing. I don't know if Scott's singing. We'll find out very, very soon. Um, and I think that basically the problem was that, as happens very often, because of the tone of the guitar, everything was pushed in a certain direction. And the guitar, when I make it duller, sounds dull, doesn't sound right. There's a phase issue. If I make it mono, it's boring. So basically, as I said earlier, the, the lowest common denominator is the guitar. And so um, you have to, in these cases, you have to let go and try and make everything else sound good so that the guitar is not doing such bad things. And uh, I think that's what happened to Scott. He probably was struggling with the guitar and then he, he modeled everything around the guitar being a problem. My, because I, that happens to me on a regular basis, because very often guitars is hard to record, especially a jangly acoustic guitar, very hard to record. Um, a lot of people don't do it very well or have problems or there's issues or they're busy trying to make music rather than put microphones in front of instruments. And thus um, you fix it in the mix and you can't always fix it in the mix. Clearly there was an effort to do it on a high scale by having um, an MS, so there was a, a certain vision somebody wanted to do well, uh, but it's, it's hard. So for me, the most important thing is the whole thing is the vocal. Actually, this song would work perfectly fine with just the, uh, the vocal and the guitar. Um, and everything else for me is decoration, which is why I focus on the vocal, which is why now we have a song that's, that sounds lovely, and despite the fact that the guitar is not necessarily the most lovely guitar in the history of the guitar recording universe. That's about it. Do we have a phone number? You texted me, but I turned my ringer off. And Scott's in England. Cool. Let's see. Yep, that's England. I know that sound. Hello. Scott. Hi, is that Tom? That's Fab. Next best thing. Oh, hi, Fab. <laughs> hi, Fab. How are you? I'm doing lovely. How are you? I just, I just tortured your song in front of people for two hours. How are you, how are you, how are you standing? I'm, I'm feeling great. I really, really loved what you did. I oh. thought it was um, really, really captured the spirit of the song, what I was going for, and um, I ended up with a lot of problems I was having, so I'm really happy. Oh, that's awesome. So tell, tell me about the song. Did you write the song? Are you singing? Are you the producer? What, what's the situation? Yeah, so I wrote it and I'm singing and I'm playing the guitar. Um, okay. So it was a song I, I put on an album a few years ago and when we recorded it, it was quite an interesting thing. It, it, I always had in my mind that I wanted it to be bigger, like a band mm -hmm. song. So um, I ended up re-recording it. Um, there's a lot of my friends um, with some great musicians, but they're dotted all over the world. So... Um, like the the Hammond came from Australia, and the drums and the bass come from other musicians in the UK. So, um, so yeah, the, I really wanted to try and get it to feel like a band performance in a room. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of my mix, mix decisions were based on that. Right. But um, um, and yeah, the guitar, the guitar. There's re the reason for the guitar was I, I recorded the initial guitar part in the studio. Yep. But there were some performance issues that were bothering me, so okay. I re-recorded it at home. Okay. And so obviously, with that comes the the, the problems of uh, of recording at home, I guess. What? Um, well, it, you know, it, well it it's really hard to record yourself, and to and sometimes you record yourself, you put everything in the right place, you just rock in, it's great. You you do a, a pass, you remove your headphones, you listen on speakers, you're sure that it sounds great. Then you get back to playing, and then over the course of the next 10 minutes, you move a little bit, maybe you turn, you know, 20 degrees to the right or to the left, and all of a sudden, boom, your amazing sound is gone because nobody's checking for you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what, in hindsight, I, um, I shouldn't have gone for the mid-side thing either, probably. I was just you know, to try it out and see. The, it's, a, it's a good decision because it's the focus point, and if it were just one single guitar in the middle, it, it may have sounded small. What's the guitar? Yeah. 
it's a Martin. It's a Martin. Uh, uh, it's about twenty year old Martin. Hmm. Um, so. Uh, I think yeah. you, you would have gotten I, better results if you had been further away from it. I think that's the the lesson here. Um, but but right, in the, okay. but in the end, I mean, you know, I'm going to export this. This sounds lovely. You can play it. You know, this uh, and it it's just great. Of course, us as nerds who are obsessing over these things, we're like, well, guitar's a little bright. Like, yeah, but whatever, man. You can you can hear the song, you can feel the lyric. The lyrics are awesome, and it's very visual, and yeah. it's, it's like a movie. It's really great. You, you're doing lovely. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, and I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. And um, I'm I'm so happy with what you've done. It's it's really. Tough. I've been sitting on this song for a couple of years, and it's never. Awesome. Well, I'm going to print it and I'm going to put it on a uh, mix up and then I'm going to send you the wave. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then if you have any, um, you know, if you hear in retrospect anything uh, egregious, just um, uh, you have my number now. Call me. I do indeed, I do indeed. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Man. All right. Uh, Thanks, thank God. You, thank you to all, all the guys there for taking the time. Cheers. Thank you. Ciao. All right, there you have it. After a uh, Zoom-induced, uh, very pandemic-style, um, how would you say, interlude, um, we had uh, feedback from the artist. He's happy. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to hit uh, Shift. What is it? Option Command B. It's so built in my DNA, I have no idea what the key commands are, and then I'm going to do mix down, and it's going to do it offline. And then I'm going to take this file, and I'm going to upload it to MixUp, where you all can go listen to it. Um, that's going to take a couple of minutes, and then um, that'll be that. Thank you very much for waxing, watching this uh, third mix fix, and I'll see you for number four. No later than very soon. Ciao.